Hello and welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Um, this will be a quick video. I say that sometimes and it's not, but I think it will be today. Um, I haven't sewn anything for myself, but I've sewn some things for my grand boys. And I will put some pictures in um, because I don't have the garments here and they're not here. But this is the pattern that I used. It's a McCall's pajama pattern for boys and girls. I've used it before. Um, it's um, 6227. It has a gown, a top, and um, short pants, long pants, and maybe um, capri size, capri length pants. Um, but it's a very nice pattern, and I um, actually, the 11 year old now, he just had a birthday, has sized out of this. This goes up to a size 12. Um, I tried to cut it bigger. It worked, but probably this is the last time that I can use this pattern for him. He has really expanded in his width. He's getting bigger, and uh, so he's going to definitely be a 14 or a 16. So, uh, but anyway, uh, they, the pants came out great. I bought that um, British fabric that I think I showed you before. I'll show it to you again. Um, I had enough to make um, Griffin long pants and the younger boy short pants and I took some pictures of both of them wearing their pajama bottoms. And they were both happy. Um, I had enough of the fabric to do some other stuff. As a matter of fact, I still have some pieces of it. One of the things I did was to make another one of these micro purses. Um, again, this is free from Sohow 7. Um, it's a snap closure. It's got uh, fusible fleece to give it some structure. It has a zipper here, um, a nice long, it's a crossbody. This really is um, a nice little thing when you're wanting to carry minimal stuff, maybe some cash or a credit card or um, phone, camera, something like that, and you want your hands free. But I, I love this pattern. Um, I've made it several times, and I love the this fabric. It's just, it's so nice. It's a cotton. It's from Hobby Lobby. Yes. The other thing I did, I've been digitizing a bit and um <clears throat> my boys my daughter and i are both harry potter fans we've read all of the books i've only i've not read the last book but all of the books except the last book for me they've read all of them um and listened to the audiobooks that's what i did was listen to the audiobooks um the narrator is wonderful jim dale he has a great voice very soothing um, so anyway, I, um, those of you who are Harry Potter fans might recognize this design here. Um, it is a golden snitch, which is used to uh, play Quidditch. Um, the fabric for the lining of this is that same British fabric. Um, this was meant to be an eyeglass case. It really, at first I thought it was going to be too small. Um, it's not. Sunglasses fit in here fine. Eyeglasses fit in here fine. But what I did, because I carry my camera a lot of places that I go, and I hate to carry it loose in the car. I don't want the back to get scratched. I don't want anything to get scratched on it. Um, so I just uh, stuck it in here, and I thought, wow, that really makes a nice little case for um, a camera. Um, there's no fastener. I could put a um, snap here to keep it in if I were to carry it in my purse or something like that. But um, but otherwise, it really makes a nice little digital camera case. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so um, so that's it. I um, one thing I want to mention: I have never downloaded a pattern from the Fold Line, but I've been on that site and 
the patterns they have, the number and types of patterns they have is truly amazing. Um, and I was on there today and found one uh, circle skirt pattern for a little girl that I plan to download. Um, indie patterns that I've never heard of are represented well on there. So um, if you like indie patterns and, and you're not familiar with all of the the brands, it's a great place to go and just peruse the patterns that they have. And you can narrow your search to a particular pattern line or indie versus commercial patterns, um, women's versus men's, kids, that kind of thing. So um, I encourage you to do that. I plan on buying from them. I think they do a really nice job. So um, that's on my list. I've got to go to the dentist today in a town that's about an hour and a half away from me. Um, so I'm on my way out the door in just a minute. But I wanted to record this um, and um, at least get this done before I left out the door. It's now 7.15 in the morning. And, um, and that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.